just puts my hand in the air and says, that's easy for me, boys. Crime. <laughs> Crime. I'm a dirty just trucker. Mate. You, mate, bro. I'm a shocker. Oh. Oh. G'day there legends, make sure you go check out my athlete programs, you do get 20% off if you use the code weekly vlog, all of the links are down in the description of this video, best comment can also win a program, let's get into this video. Good morning all, it is uh, Sunday morning, obviously game day, it's freezing cold out here, um, I'm in my full, my full um, grey kit, very nice. So obviously game day, we've got Mount Gravatt today, which will be very good, going for a walk obviously with the dog in the morning. Already been to the gym, I've got no devices on for the first hour of the day is my deal at the moment. So I'm staying off my phone, not getting those little dopamine hits in the morning, uh, which is getting so much better for me to wake up and just do something in the morning. So like I said, off to the beach with the dog. Now go about today, 2 p.m., let's go. Beach. Threw it up in the air, please. Beach is packed. So many people down here. <laughs> beach, absolutely beautiful day. Um, plenty of surfers out, so we're gonna go for a little bit of a swim, get sorted, um, and then into breakfast, I guess. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, swim time, let's go. Get some cold exposure in. Dog on so freezing in there but I feel so much better. My back was so sore this morning. I've already done like an hour of mobility. I've done an hour of um, like breathing and stuff as well. So my back was so cruel. I feel so much better. Headspace already feels so much better. So like I said, if you don't have a beach, get cold water exposure, have a uh, cold shower or something. You feel so much better in the morning. Um, yeah, game day, let's get it. It's an absolutely beautiful day. As you can see, it should be about 20 degrees. Probably have 40 today, so let's go. Quick little breakfast. Scrambled eggs on toast. We're gonna have a little bit more, but this is just the entree. Let's go. And a coffee for breakfast as well. Let's go. Uh, good morning, everyone. We do have a little bit of a mess here at the moment, I understand. I've got a coffee that I've just made up, um, and then I've also got, I'm gonna have some cheese, um, cheesy toast, cheesy bread, whatever you wanna call it, bit of a cheesy. I've already had scrambled eggs on a toast. I'm gonna have a little bit of wheat mix as well, so plenty of carbs to fill me up this morning. Not that many greens, don't really have any greens in this house at the moment. I did just get back from holidays, um, so I haven't really done much shopping. That is gonna be the breakfast, let's go. <laughs> Having my morning Modex as well, 100 mils before strenuous exercise, about two, uh, two hours before, so that is uh, what I'm taking. Good stuff. And for breakfast, to finish us off, we just have wheat bix with sugar. Now, why would I have wheat bix with sugar? This is obviously not something that I would recommend you having every single day, but before a game day, this is absolutely fo Oh my God, I've got the hiccups, jeez. It's absolutely fine to have because uh, you've got that high GI, which is the sugar. So it's gonna get into your bloodstream really quickly, so those quick carbohydrates. So it's gonna give you a little bit of an energy boost to smash out the game. So that's why I've gone for this. <sighs> Bro, sorry about these hiccups. I know why I've got them. I need to drink some water. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much why I have it. High GI, straight into the bloodstream. You're ready to go and absolutely dominate. Game day, brothers. Let's get it. We're here at Rococo's. Got the bag sorted. Boots everything. Haven't forgotten anything today. Let's go. G'day there guys and welcome to another game day vlog. Thank you so much for watching these. A lot of work does go in behind the scenes to get these out so quickly, two days after we play. So a massive thanks to uh, Mixed Media for helping me out doing the edits and also filming the games. Massive shout out to Alex Leary. It was her match today uh, on Saturday, obviously the Alex match. So shout out to her for leading us out of the tunnel and then Willow Dwyer uh, leading uh, us out as well. So absolutely um, massive for, for, I guess, the family, the, the Leary family, um, what she's gone through and, um, and everything over the past, I guess, 12 months. Um, it's been a massive thing. If you don't know anything, you can look up Move for Lex um, and Alexa Leary on Instagram or just on the internet anywhere and you will see some amazing stuff. She gave us a massive 
rev up speech before the game, uh, which was so appreciated. So we love you, Lex, and thank you so much for, for being a part of, um, of the Noosa Football Club and, and helping us out. Started on the wing today uh, against Mount Gravatt, um, and yeah, got, got a few kicks here and there to start us off. We are the better side on paper, but we have been the better side on paper for the last few weeks, and unfortunately, we haven't got the job done. So it was our responsibility after the bye week to kind of refresh, get back to our best, and start to win some more games. We lost four on a trot, so it was really important that we did come out with the same tenacity and intensity that we used to um, because we haven't been that good and just making sure that we're getting up and about. Every time someone kicks a goal, there we're up and about as much as we possibly can. Great turnout. Um, great to see uh, lots of people there at the game. This one, I should have gone to Charlie. He's a left footer. I should have just handballed it to him and could have gone out the, the fat side. Unfortunately, went back to the skinny side and that was the wrong decision to make in that play. But that's all right. Um, as we uh, as we kept moving again the, uh, the other week, I said that I needed to start attacking the game more and going more through the centre corridor, more than just going out to the, to the wings, trying to take on the game as much as I possibly could and have more of an impact on the game. And of course, if you want to be a good teammate, one of the most important things is to get around your teammates every time that they kick a goal. So make sure that you do that every time they kick a goal doesn't matter where you are on the field unless you're at fullback probably but try and get around them as much as possible this is a great example of work right off the halfback flank you can start at the halfback flank use the fat side make sure your team switches as much as you can follow the ball track the ball get the ball here and then um yeah unfortunately the bloke caught me high and he was saying to the umpire he does it every week <laughs> said if I do it every week, then surely you're prepared for it. Um, surely you know that I'm going to do it. Then tackle me like that. Anyway, if someone does drop their knees a little bit or duck their head, make sure you're prepared for it and go for their hips as much as you possibly can. Don't let uh, their arm, or your arm slide up. Got, I think, the third goal of the game, which was nice. Um, obviously... We started quite nicely here. We've kicked the first three. They haven't kicked any goals, which is a which is a really good start for us. And we're up and about, making sure that I'm making the most of my opportunities. I said to this guy, I said, come on, make sure that you don't don't catch me high. If you know I'm going to do it, then don't tackle me around the head. Anyway, uh, a, lot, a lot on the wing and then a lot through the midfield in this game, which was really, really good. Again, another clearance here. Went for goal and it was going through and it just slid off to the left. Make sure you can kick on both feet. It's so important. If you can kick on both feet, then you are such a more damaging player. I love when the boys back me up after people come for me. Um, it's always interesting. Another few touches here and there. Again, this was the same bloke, I think, if you watched the last game of vlog that came and hit me after the play, like, so dirty, like, just way above head high. It just didn't need to be done. But at the end of the day, like that one wasn't that hard. That was just like a normal hit after the kick. Like there's nothing, no problem with that. But uh, but yeah, anyway, I think that um, I think that hitting after the play is okay as long as it doesn't go high and it's not um, you know not an unfair thing that you're trying to hurt them. At the end of the first quarter, it is 36 to three. So we started really really well. And we have been versing teams below us on the ladder the last few weeks and haven't been playing that well against them. So it was good for us to uh, to get a really good start here. Again, like I said before, trying to look to go inside as much as I possibly can making sure you get that ball onto the corridor so you can open up that fat side as much as you possibly can. I've said it as much as you possibly can twice there, so um, shut up, mate. Anyway, we've gone and kicked a few goals again to start off this second term, which is good. This is a really good example of work rate and running and forward running and offensive running. If you want to get the ball, I actually don't get used here, but this is a really good example of really pushing hard but then it will open up space on that other side for someone else to move into. So if you work hard into a space, then you get out of that space that you were getting used. Now, this is a really good example here. I get the ball on the back flank, handball it forward, and the ball's forward to me. I could have easily given up here, and but I've probably passed about six six blokes, six Mount Gravatt blokes. None of them have followed me. Keep going, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Get it forward. I'm saying get it into me, get it long. Eventually they do and I'm there to take the mark. And that's just an example of 10 seconds, 15 seconds of running where you can just completely change the game if your work rate is higher than everybody else on the field. You've got to want the ball more than anyone else. You've got to want to work hard more than anyone else and you'll get rewarded. It doesn't matter if you're running forward or back. There's examples of me running back as well. 
which I'll get um, get to in the second half, where you can get a lot more of the ball if you work really, really hard. So that's a perfect example there. Getting it on the back flank, handballing it forward, but you can just absolutely rock it down the field and, uh, and end up getting it back. Like I said, on the wing, so I am in more of the uh, outer spaces, and I didn't want to go down the line again. I wanted to change up the angles. I wanted to start to to change the way that the game is flowing as much as I can. This is a really good way to do it. You can get one. I wanted the handball back here, but they end up getting the kick. But I wanted the handball back, and then we could have gone a bit quicker. Ended up being slow, but this is a good example. If you want to orchestrate a switch, then you can do that. So, um, you know, if if you want to change the way that the game is being played, then you can do that 100%. Probably could have given the hands back here as well. We could have gone out that, that far side. So... Again, um, could have been better there. Great, uh, great handball by Mavi here. Probably could have gone straight through. I didn't know how close the guy was behind me. I should have backed my speed and gone straight through, but instead uh, went on the left, went up for a mark here, didn't grab it. But you know that your confidence, will, I know that my confidence is high when I'm marking, going for marks of balls. I got the worst corky here. It was so bad. Bussy just put it up for me, and you could see I'm hobbling, and this really affected me for the rest of the game. Like... It really hurt me. I ended up getting the ball and just kicking it out. And there was someone there, luckily, um, for us. But, man, you have no idea. I actually had to, like, stop and lay down here because it was I was in so much pain. And it's completely blown up. I haven't been able to walk for the last two days. I wonder if there's going to be any um, bruising later. I'm sure there will. But the thing with a corky, you've just got to keep moving, keep it moving, keep it moving throughout the game. You can see I'm already kind of like limping a little bit here. Even on the walk, Seb kicked a great goal and we're up 67 to 16, so we're doing well. But I'm really struggling. <laughs> I know. It doesn't feel good at all. But if you just keep moving, you can kind of forget about it a little bit. But um, yeah, I guess if you, the problem is if you stop moving. So at half time, I could have stopped moving and I just didn't. I kept kept going, kept standing up. Because if I sat down, I knew that my my body would have just like frozen up. So that's not what you want to do. Give me the hands back here. And then I got to push in the back for a kick, which is a bit of a soft one, but we'll take it. Um, two for the price of one, which we definitely take. And then, like I said, trying to switch, but um, the option was there. It was late in the quarter, so we were more just controlling controlling the ball. When it gets late in the quarter, there's no need to, to go helter-skelter, and we we're going pretty quick. So second quarter, 79 to 16. We are well and truly up and about in this game. It's, um, it's getting a bit embarrassing, to be honest. I think some people... Did end up leaving, but um, like leaving the game to to go home because it was kind of already over. But like these are the kind of games that you've got to find motivation for. Doesn't matter what team you're playing, when the game's kind of almost already over, and it's like what motivates you to keep playing well. Like what, like mate. At the end of the day, I just want to win by as much as possible. So I get a good holding the ball here. Like, like it uh, doesn't matter what the scoreboard is. I'm still going to play with the same amount of intensity, ferocity. Um, and just like, I don't know, intent that I always have because that's just the way that I've always been taught to play footy. Like, just keep running and keep working hard. Um, my corky did start to affect me a little bit more in the last last kind of quarter and a bit, but um, just, I reckon, toughen up, mate. Slipped over here, tried to get around. So, but like I said, trying to take on the game as much as I possibly can. I had so much space and time out on this wing. It was... It was ridiculous and a lot of marks as well. But like I said, like if you kick and then you work towards the next contest, you're going to get so much more of the ball. Like This is just an example. Like, I don't actually get it here, but this is a good example. Like, I was two kicks before that and I'm already at the next contest because I'm working hard to get to every single contest. You know when you see there's more numbers at a contest, it's because more players are working on that team. So this was a good example. Give it over to Mavi. Get it back. I was thinking goals here, to be honest with you, but I didn't. I gave it off to John O'Freeman, our big tall forward, who uh, had a shot from 50. So, uh, like I said, I, but like you just don't. If you miss it, like you don't get anything out of it. It's all good to to share um, share with your teammates as much as you possibly can. C Mac, he's a very versatile ruckman, that big man. Anyway, at the end of the third, there was so much space and time at there. And like I said, you just got to keep driving yourself throughout the game. Find what drives you mentally, physically, whatever it is, and uh, and use that. At the th- end of the third, it's 96 to 26. We're up and about, like I said. And um, 
and just we, we start off this last quarter with a good goal at the start. Give it back to my halfback mate Krimmer, who goes inside 50, and we do end up getting uh, a goal out of this. Now this is another good example of work rate. Like this is the last quarter. I'm I'm absolutely buggered. It's been pretty hot all day, um, but like this is just a good example of like working as much as you possibly can. On one two is a great way to to get um, to get a fair bit of the ball as well. Like if you want to get, I get some questions from young people. They're like, how do I get more of the ball? Like you can get two for the price of one a lot of the time if you're um, if you are working working really hard to get that one too so give and get back or kick and handball back a few good tackles here um i thought that first one could have been holding the ball but i'm not the umpire at the end of the day i don't make those decisions um end up getting a handball out here but i don't think i actually handballed it it looks like i handballed it but i don't think it touched my fist anyway that's just like i said a good example of working really really hard is just always running back and forward and your heat map like where you get the ball should be everywhere. Like you should, no one should be like, oh, like you got a lot of it in this position, especially as a winger or a midfielder. You should be like, oh, I saw you all over the ground today. You know, your work rate was really good. Because as you can see here, I'm getting in the back pocket. I'm getting in the forward pocket. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to work as hard as I possibly can to get as much of it. Well, that was an, uh, an, an, an easier win and good to get back on the winners list, which we're very happy with. 127 to 40 was the final score, which was really good for us to get back on the winners list. Like I said, we um, we we have had four losses on the trot, and um, if you're just tuning in, then then I guess you're uh, you're you're new to all this. Um, ended up with 38, 11 marks, and a couple of goals, which was nice. Um, and, uh, and of course, all that matters is the win. And a massive day for, for Alexa Leary and, and the move for Lex. Um, I guess just everything, like the whole the whole thing is just such an amazing, you know, amazing thing. And, and we're so happy and so stoked for it. We actually did lose the audio of the last like half of the game and all of this as well, which was a shame. But we're all very happy to get the win and, uh, and get back on the winner's list. <laughs>